Hello again, welcome back to JDM Escape. So, uh, it's time to strip down the engine for the MX-5. Now, nothing's changed since I've left it off. Just setting the tripod up for you. And all we need to do is we need to start off by um, clutch and fly wheel off, because obviously we need the crank out, which is what that all bolts up, bolts up, up to, should I say. Uh, if we get that off, that off, and then we'll put it on the stand with obviously all these little holes use all the bellows and bolt holes to mount it. And then we can drop the oil out of it, see what color that is, see if it's shiny, which I think it will be with how bad this thing sounded. And turn it upside down and we'll start just sort of, sorry, before we can do that, obviously we've got to take off all the water pump, rocket cover, because that all mounts to that by the looks of things. Um, air con pump might get away with, might not, don't know what to see. Um, I suspect most of this will have to come off and Ultimately, then we can get some off, as I said, uh, main pulley off, and this entire timing cover. Because I think, realistically, while we're in here, it's probably worth doing the time belt on it. Because I don't believe it's ever had one. Not to my knowledge, and it might be a chain, actually, I haven't said that, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll find that out as we go. Um, I don't believe it'll ever have one, because the car's, I think it's in the ballpark of about 70,000, so maybe it's due one, but maybe it's not had one, but we'll check the condition of everything while we're there. And then by the time it goes back together and goes back out, it'll be right and it'll be done. So I'm gonna start on that now. And like I said, start just sort of stripping stuff off and one thing at a time and then go from there. But we'll start with clutching flywheel. There we go, right, all on the stems. Now, when I took the flywheel off, obviously the oil comes out of there anyway, which I kind of forgot about when I did it, I wasn't prepared for, but looking at what's come out of it, let me see if I can show you this. It isn't pretty. So this is just the first bit that's leaked out of the holes, yeah? And I really don't know if the camera will pick this up, but it's quite shiny. There's a lot of metal in there. And that is purely what dribbled out of the little crankshaft bolt holes. So I'm going to move the engine crane out of the way and we'll drop the oil and see what the rest of it's like. I might go empty that first and then start from the beginning. Right then, let's drop the oil out and see what it's like. I've already made a mess, so it doesn't matter if it goes everywhere. Okay, moment of truth, first look within. Um, the problem area. Nothing there. Nothing there. Obviously she's still got spark plugs in, so it's on the compression stroke right now. Ah, there you go. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to undo all the crankshaft caps, all the, uh, sorry, all the big end caps. And my end to turn the engine back over to drop the, to pull these part plugs out. These, even though we're changing things, it's still not bad practice to keep them all in the same order because that still belongs to that piston and in that way around. That's actually not bad, that one, not at all. bad one. There's a lot of wear on that one. Weird because that one's nearest the pump as well so I thought if anything it'd be the back end of wow. Yeah the crank's not in a good way. Let me just pull the other half of this there and I think it's like the bottom end of this is going bad shall we say. Um, what I mean by that is this, the side of the bearing that goes with the piston side and if I can get this out to show you it. Wow. That is the bearing material that's supposed to be squared off on each end and it's a completely different thickness up there too yeah that's kind of what i was expecting but that usually kills the journals on the actual crankshaft in there um, so There we go, now we've got the full timing chain exposed with the oil belt. Um, there's nothing to say that there's any faults in there. There's tension on that, there might be a little bit less tension on what, than I would have expected on there, but again, we'll look into that and we'll see how it is, but that's not like an excessive, I wouldn't say. Um, I think that's only like a normal spring loaded on these, I don't think it's anything substantial. Whereas this, um, the main one is like oil pressure, so if the oil pressure drops then we might lose timing, but it still ran before so I don't think we lost timing. Um, but I'm going to strip off uh, the timing chain and then as I said just get the rest um, of the crankshaft out and that's my plan. So as I thought, I've got to get into this end to release it. I've took all those bolts out of there and the crank uh, cable, cradle, if you like, is loose. Right then, number the three. All the work we've done so far, the hours of work to get the engine out of the car, all comes down to this. There it is. One quick shift. All that for that, eh? 
Yeah. All the main bearings and so they, they look alright to be fair. Um, I just don't trust any of it anymore so. For safe storage I'm going to leave this crank shaft sat in there. Um, and that is that for now. It's out, it's removed. Everything is as stripped as it needs to be. And we can call that successful. Now we need new crank shaft. So, So there we go, it's out. It's completely stripped down and it's ready for another crank to be dropped in and a brand new set of bearings to go with it. Um, even if we're not getting used good crank, we still need brand new bearings of the right tolerances and all that kind of stuff. So that is where I'm gonna leave this video for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'd like to see um, all the detail on it this time. I've tried to add a little bit more um, context for you, a little bit more information in as well. So. Next time you see it, we'll have another crank chef ready to go in it and we'll be starting to put it back together. So, that's my plan. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you uh, click the little bell, so obviously you get notifications when new episodes are out. And yeah, there you go. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you again.